Syngenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Well, the, real, the yield really is determined by the flag leaf and uh, the penultimate leaf. Um, if you think about it, when we have diseases that affect the leaves, um, what we have is a reduction in photosynthesis. And we all know um, that photosynthesis is the key aspect of plants that allows them to survive and allows them to grow and to produce. And so if we have leaf spots that are affecting um, the flag leaf, for example, any spot on that leaf, it would probably be yellow or brown, that's not able to undergo photosynthesis if it's not green. So whatever remains in that leaf that's green, will be all that we have to contribute to the yield because that photosynthesis will really um, determine what our yield is because the plant needs to undergo photosynthesis in order to undergo any of its processes, including yield production. So that's why it's important. And if we get um, good coverage and good efficacy of the fungicide to prevent those leaf spots from forming, then we have a leaf that's nice and green and able to undergo photosynthesis and able to allow that, that plant to continue on and to produce um, the head and produce the seeds and give us a better yield. So it is really important. Yeah, it would be more, we're more dependent on the flag leaf for our yield production. So the flag leaf really is important. I don't think that um, you, it would be as advantageous to protect the penultimate leaf before the flag leaf has emerged. Although you would get some um, protection there of your yield and some protection of that leaf. Um, and if, and if, the, if the fungicide was able to, to carry over a little bit, you might get some movement of the, of the product as the flag leaf emerges. But I think it's more important to target that flag leaf because you'll still get good coverage of your penultimate leaf at the same time that you're, that you're spraying on the flag leaf. But you're not only hitting the leaf that has the most importance, but you're also getting um, that second top leaf and that will give you some efficacy as well. Well, there is, it is important to think about the window of opportunity to spray. And it's really important to think about which disease is most important to us and so which disease that we want to target. Because each disease might have a different time, a little bit different timing, and um, hitting that timing just right will give us the most bang for our buck when we use a fungicide application. So um, in terms of being too early to spray, um, we can spray the crop at an earlier stage if we see early signs of disease. When it comes to the leaf spots, we can get some early suppression if we have a lot of disease pressure or if we have had a lot of the disease in the past. Um, we can get a little bit of um, a benefit from spraying, possibly, but it doesn't really do us any good unless we have continued disease pressure and apply at the flag leaf stage. So I think that it's really important to focus on that flag leaf application, especially um, if you're using one fungicide application, it should really be targeting the flag leaf. So the flag leaf should be emerging and the more of the flag leaf that's there to protect um, and get good coverage of, um, the better control that we'll have. We'll also get some uh, control of the disease on the other leaves of the plant obviously, which will also have a benefit, but it's the top two leaves and especially the flag leaf that will have um, the most benefit from the spray. Um, with any of this, these diseases though too, is it too late to spray by the time you see really heavy damage? Um, probably too late to spray when you have a situation where the damage has already been done. Um, you're not going to save your yield at that point if you're getting in late and spraying once there's already a lot of disease there. Water volumes are always very important when it comes to fungicide efficacy. So check the label and the recommendations for the product and if possible always um, target on the higher end of the, of the volumes that are recommended because the more water that you have the better coverage that you'll get of that application and the better coverage you'll get the better um, the efficacy of the product because um, even when we have products that say that there um, could be some um, eradication effect or some um, level that's beyond just the preventative um, effects of the fungicide the coverage is still really important but most of the fungicides that we use the really key aspect of the ability to control the disease is through prevention. So we really want to focus on that aspect and getting good coverage therefore means that we have better um, ability to prevent the disease because 
anything that is covered with the fungicide and has that active ingredient there is able to target um, whether it be the spores, the mycelium of the pathogen. And when those come into contact with the plant that's been protected, then we can get better control of our disease um, through this preventative aspect. So that's why it's really important to have good coverage and to get good fungicide efficacy.